Oh, hello. Welcome back to Q Remastered. We've played this game before. It's a physics game. Uh, if in case, in case you don't, uh, in case you've never watched it before. Oh my God. That person just made that work. Here's the deal with Q Remastered. I am going to try and solve the game. You are going to preferably not try and give me hints until I ask. I will need hints eventually, but when I need a hint, I'll ask for a front seat. Uh, so, that's how it works. Make the shape face to the right, okay? We just need to make it face that way, assuming that this is the face. Um, hear me out. Have you ever heard of the hammer? The hammer? Method? Mm, okay, the hammer did not work. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is it ADHD game? Is this ADHD game? I don't know. How would I know? Um, is it ADHD game? Maybe. Oh, that's really not working. Okay. Hmm. I kind of feel like we could do a little bit of a like clip here, maybe. Do a little bit of a clip here. And then maybe we'll just put a bunch of weight on it. That'll flip it, right? That did not flip it. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe we do a little... Maybe we do a little fulcrum here. We're going to flip this shit, you know? That's not quite facing right, but it might eventually. I mean, that's getting there. Uh, so now, so now, maybe we'll just do a little bit of weight here. Oh, uh, fulcrum. You're a you're a fulcrum. Hey, you're you're a fulcrum. Um, that didn't work. More weight. More weight. It needs more weight. That's currently facing right, right? That didn't do anything. Half success? What if we sandcastle methoded over here? Doing anything. Two thirds success? Then we drop more. That's, oh, that's really not good. <laughs> all right, all right. So we'll redo the fulcrum. Thank you for the 31 bits, Mars. Uh, <clears throat> I've never been there for Q Remastered. I guess I DK what to expect. Normally, I solve the questions a little bit faster than this. Big weight, big weight, big weight, big flip. Uh, or short little stick this way. Yeah. Oh, sh shit. Small little fulcrum. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I might have to call in the reinforcements of Twitch chat's help real quick here. Big fulcrum or small big fo big lever, small fulcrum. Hmm. Sandcastle method method never fails. It doesn't. What if you turn your monitor upside down? I did get a great comment on YouTube the other day which was like one person just coming up with completely outside of the box, quote unquote, solutions to this game, and then realizing that none of them worked. It was very like that kind of what Uzai just said, turn your monitor on its side. Technically that works. And I was like, yeah, but the game won't let me. <laughs> and then at the end of the comment, they were like, oh, editing because I just realized that's not how this game works. All right, chat, I need reinforcements. How do we do this? What do we do? Hi, Doctor of Awesome. How's it going? Holy crap, it has been a while. Hello. Last thing looked right. Taller fulcrum, like this one. Okay. Oh, that's a bad fulcrum. Hi, Doctor of Awesome. How, how's life been, dude? Big weight. Oh, that's halfway there. Actually. 
front, feel free to front see me here, Chad, if you have any, uh, if you have any ideas. Fulcrum about the same height as the object, okay. I'm kind of out of room here is the problem. I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. Can I just hammer it? I don't know. Uh, we could try one of these, like... Oh, crap. I hate when I start a drawing and it immediately messes up. That's not gonna work. Now it's going the other way. Oh no. Okay, make the shape face right. Hmm. I was bad at physics in school, don't ask me. I know, but I studied English, so like, I never even took physics. I didn't even take that physics class that you were bad at. I think that is a good fulcrum. Dr. Vossum says it's been a really busy uh, last eight months. How's life? How's, uh, how are things? That was a good flip. I think we have to do that flip. Can your peepa have a little fulcrum behind on the bottom corner at the start for it to roll over? You're talking right here. Okay. Then a big fulcrum. I think this fulcrum method is working pretty well. Big weight. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Try that one more time. I remember a mobile version of this type of game where turning the monitor would work. Hey, I mean, I'll try it. <clears throat> I think I can rotate. Yeah, yeah. I got my... Guys, my monitor's rotating. It's just not... I'm going to unplug my PC. Hold up. Okay, I can't rotate it any further. I can't rotate it any further. I'll try it. It's just, it's not... I'm going to unplug something. Shit, there we go. There we go. Desperate much? This is cursed? Yeah, I'm about to move on to question two here in a second. Uh, question 22. <clears throat> Best boomer moment of the day. All right, let's get this going. Come on, same thing. Fuck. Okay. I put this pretty close. Just a little lip here. Long lever on this side. That means it'll lean left. Little fulcrum there. Weight hard on the outside of this lever. Damn, my fulcrum quite d didn't quite work here. Take a photo of your screen, then, t then, then rotate the photo. Engage the physics sensor on the monitor with Alt F4. Control, Alt, Delete. Put some WD... Wait, 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 wait. Tony's making fun of me for putting WD-40 on his mic arm. I did put WD-40 on my mic arm once, and then I learned in the next 10 minutes after some furious Googling that uh, the way mic arms work is they actually use something that makes it harder. WD-40 makes joints easier to move. Mic arms use grease to make it harder for the mic arm to move because they want it to stay in place. So the squeak that I thought I was solving Instead, just meant that the mic arm did this all the time. And it couldn't be brought down because the minute it was brought down, it fell back up. The WD-40 was such a funny moment. I made a wiggly mic arm. I made a mic arm that was erect at all, like it was erect at all times of day. It, was, it would never do anything other than point directly up. I fucking forgot. I accidentally let go of my drawing. Shit. Shit. Erected all times a day. It did not have morning wood. It had... Okay. So here's my thought. Do we do a tinier fulcrum here? Tinier fulcrum? Big weight? There's a dickraphone. 
It's a bad joke. It's a bad joke. What if we hammered this right here? What if we hammered this right here? I think if we hammer right now. No! Fucking... Gildan Kranz doesn't have enough watch time to talk about it. Oh, oh buddy. Um, all right, sweet. So what we're going to do here is move on to level 22. Make Alex touch the right wall. Can I make the, uh, the, the, the Tyrannosaur? Can I make... Is this Rex from, uh, from um, you know, the TV show? Rugrats. Is this Rex from Rugrats? Oh, Alex, my dude, what are you doing? I don't know. Make Alex touch the right wall. Is it Godzilla? Oh, maybe it's Godzilla. It's a good idea, too. Hear me out. Crazy clamp. There's no way this is ever going to work. Crazy weight. Flip. I was gonna, I was gonna flip, I was gonna flip him up by the back, by the, by this. Hmm. Hmm. I still kind of think I can make a. What if I made a Godzilla flip? Godzilla's out of the way now. That's something. How do I get you to touch the right wall? Can I just do a simple fulcrum situation here? Oh, not like that. No. A simple fulcrum situation here that that kind of tips underneath your butt. Then big weight. Mm. That didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Ryan, I sent the definitely real solution in Discord to that last one. Okay, definitely real, huh? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, no solutions yet, Dbits. No solutions yet. Thank you, though. Um, you're misunderstanding the prompt. It means make the shape's face no longer raw. <laughs> Make the shape face right rather than wrong. So you just draw a smiley. I like that. That's a good solution. That's a good solution, Luke. I like that. Uh okay, okay. So what's the wrong what's what wrong answers only? What's the way to do this? I do think our little uh our little uh send Godzilla out of the way. Oh fuck. Our Sin Godzilla out of the way was not a terrible idea. Add lots of weight and focus it all on exactly one point, right? Maybe we just have to hit it hard enough that no matter what happens, it will still... It will still... Fling over Godzilla. Bunch of sand down here. We can make the base, we sandcastle the base to make it more steady, more sturdy. Base is definitely more sturdy. Okay, okay. So now we just hammer it. Oh, that's not going to work. Fuck. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, chat. Front seat me here. What do we do? Bye, Maylee. Uh, hmm. By Luke's logic, first you need to determine which the right wall is through a series of Socratic questions. 
what even is good? We strive to be good, but what does good mean in this situation? Which wall is the right wall? Hmm. Am I crazy for thinking we do need to get rid of Godzilla? Yeah? I don't think my Godzilla method is very good, though. <laughs> Tip Godzilla over? Okay. I'm glad you like that idea. Put as much mass right there as we can. No, we should do it from as high up as possible. High up. Tip Godzilla over. Maybe we need to tip Godzilla over and also, like, connect the two of them, you know? And you use Godzilla as a, itself as a tool. Yeah, that's an idea. That's an idea. So maybe Godzilla's hand here, when Godzilla gets flipped, can flip Alex. Godzilla's giving Alex a hand up. What happens when you just smash the heck out of Godzilla? Godzilla, I think, I think what the honest, honest problem is with Godzilla is that he is uh, very... Oh, you were making a sex joke. I understand. I think the actual problem with Godzilla is that he's very... Uh, he's a... Uh, ha he has mass. Lots of mass. He's, he's thick. He's a thick boy. T-H-I-C-C. -C. But you were making a sex joke. I get it now. <clears throat> uh I wasn't. Okay, never mind then. I I made it a sex joke. Um he has M in parentheses. Ass. <clears throat> uh tip Alex over, then drop weight on their antenna. Okay, okay. I've tilted him backwards before. Now, that's actually an interesting little little shape we just made there. You know? Oh, no. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey. Hope everyone is having a nice day. Priya! heart. Hi, I hope you are too. Thank you. Okay, we're tilted a little bit. We're tilted. Tilted towers. Keep tilting. Keep tilting. Thank you, Castle. Thank you, Freya, for the for the subscription. Hi, Julia. Thank you. Holy cow. Thank you very much. Thanks for four months. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. Drop a lever between them. Dro oh, you drop a wedge between them. Sorry. Maybe the wedge is the answer. And we put a little weight on one side of it. Okay. Okay. Honestly, as long as that doesn't fuck us, we could... Oh, that's not good. You fucked it? Okay, yeah. Well, if I could, like, grab the foot here, I think we'd be fine. Hmm, not like that, Alex. Don't catch it. Just move backwards. Hmm, if we do this, if we get to this position... Godzilla is a lever, you know? If we could end up building something like this, the problem is we have things in the way currently. It is a lever. So we need to find a way to tilt Alex back. God damn it. As has been discussed prior. Uh, 
<sighs> Alex is pretty light. You might be able to bounce him off the left wall. Ooh. Okay. What are you thinking? Are you thinking a little wedge action, then we bounce? Tip him back onto a catapult, then fling him over. How does one build a catapult in this game? Sounds good, Luke. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> Seesaw on the butt. Oh, what if we just seesaw it on the butt right now? Wait a second. What if we seesaw it on the butt right this second? Uh, I think we need it to be like this. Alex is so light. That could maybe work, actually. Yeah? I whiffed. Maybe we'll go from the, his, his knee armpit, you know? I think knee armpit is probably the most sturdy place to do it. We have so little room for this. Get rid of Godzilla then, Seesaw. Okay, okay, okay. So let's practice that. Let's practice getting rid of Godzilla. I think I just need to hit it exactly the correct spot, and it will work. Exactly on the... This fucker's heavy. He's got mass. Exactly on the tip of the tail. Now you're back into the space. Okay, but from here, honestly... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Godzilla, the... Uh, Godzilla, the... Uh, lever? They're squaring up. They're trying to duke it out. Please let me draw through here, you son of a bitch. No. Oh, my God. The little city was there originally. Yeah, the little city, uh, the little city's there. Yeah, we gotta go from, from higher with more weight. Higher with more weight. That's a good tip, but then he goes back. Just the tip, Godzilla. About to move to. We gotta get one question right today, right? Like, do I do more weight here? Is is mass the problem? Hmm. Do I cinch Godzilla's head a little bit? Godzilla's a real issue. Hmm. Okay. I can move Alex back a little bit with that ball. Don't drop the weight, but just draw it right on top of the tail. Ooh, there's an idea. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. I think potentially from here we could launch. That's going to be a little rough. This this lever does the seesaw does not have enough. Uh, motion to see saw. You already tried dropping a wedge in the middle of them. I tried, and it kind of ended up in Alex's hands most of the time. Okay, we've reached a new weird equilibrium. My only thought here is to do a lever here with weight on this side that potentially flips him off, but I don't... This doesn't seem like it's going to hurt anything. Maybe do a little shifting. Nope. Maybe we'll do a little weight on your tail. The shift. God damn it. A little shifting. Hmm. 
Sweet. So, uh, question twenty three is: Touch the ground with the red object. Um, uh, do you have a little uh, acid reflux like me? No, mostly I have anxiety. <laughs> uh, um, which gives me indigestion, but. Hammer. Thoughts? Hammer? Red object? It's never red. When they say red, then it's never actually red. We do a, like, curve? This would lift it up, right? Oh, it might lift it up. If we get it to be exact enough. Yeah, if you're like, that's not red, you're not alone. <laughs> Bigger weight. Add more weight. Add more weight. I can use all of the space inside of here for free. Oh, fuck. I keep missing the hammer. This one seems easier. Hit me with your front seat. I'm ready. I'm ready to actually succeed once today. Hit me with your front seat. We just have to hit it lower? I feel like hammer is... I feel like we need sideways force. Tall fulcrum and lever. Tall fulcrum... And the lever. We should do them as separate parts, obviously. Okay, 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 okay. So you're thinking the force is to go up on one side of the comma. I was thinking the answer is to go sideways on the actual base. But, oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. This could work. This this seems much better. Sandcastle? You just have to try in that situation because it almost worked. Sandcastle almost worked. You have to think in that situation that a sandcastle would work. I kind of think that just a little bit of weight here would do it. Hell yeah, we'll just wedge this shit out. Let's do that. Please, please, don't make a fool of me. Please. Uh, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so we got a good fulcrum to start. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. Okay, and we get a good one of them. Oh, we get a good fulcrum to start. Next week, uh, we're going to be doing literature quizzes on stream rather than uh, anything having to do with physics. Fulcrum's point needs to be slightly to the left, or to the right, sorry, that's the right. Because the weight needs to be on the left-hand side. And then I add weight. It doesn't have a big distance to fall. However, come on, you fucker. Yeah, that didn't do shit. Fulcrum again? Or, uh, like, lever again? You fucking son of a bitch. What if you made the fulcrum a little bit less tall? Lever has more area to move up. Okay, okay, okay. Less tall fulcrum. Oh, this could work. Just the tip. Just the tip. Lots of force. Lots of force. I think we need the most force we could possibly get. All going right to this corner. No! It's fucking... Okay, okay. Uh, 
Um, tip of fulcrum should be a line width under the bottom of the red line at its end. So you're saying tip should be like here, like a line width underneath it. Problem is this one is going to slip off. It might not. This is a nice warm up for P5, uh, banging head against wall repeatedly. Hmm. Tip of the fulcrum should be there. Okay. Tip of the fulcrum should be there. I'm making the fulcrum round on top, which is definitely not. Saying less weight on the on the on the weight. I think the weight has to be heavy. If we do less weight, it just doesn't uh. Okay, so we get to this stage a lot, right? So from this stage, what's who's to say a hammer isn't the oh I didn't draw that correctly at all. Uh, that's not good. Now hook, you're thinking hook like this. I should probably ask that question before I start talking. Thinking hook like this. <laughs> Why am I so bad? <laughs> New lever. Fulcrum on top of pile. Llamas? Llamas? It's nearly ingenious. Nearly ingenious. It's just a series of levers. Just a series of levers. Sandcastle has to work here, right? There's not going to be any ground to fucking touch over here. I'm so mad. Uh, <clears throat> okay. New fulcrum. Fulcrum there works pretty well. We'll do basically a straight line. We'll make the fulcrum, or we'll make the weight come to a single point. More weight still means more force. However, that didn't fucking work. Okay, 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 okay. Perfectly line that shit up. Okay, 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 okay. The red object should be allowed to touch grass instead of just grass. <laughs> okay, so what if we go for the other side? What if we go for the other side? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the problem is we go for the other side. Okay, we'll do the other side. This will work. Mm, might actually work. We just have to be really precise with all of our levers. I hate it when it moves stuff slightly to the left. That's a real problem for us. It's the same from either side. It's actually not. The red object is not even fucking uniformly shaped. <clears throat> You need something inside of the white arch to keep it from tipping with the magenta thing on top. Got you. Inside, we'll draw a smiley face. <clears throat> you shouldn't be looking for more weight, but for more speed. Give it room to accelerate. How do I give it room to accelerate? Make the lever here. And then low. I had too much weight to start. Shit. How do we make this lever more effective? That's basically what we're asking. How do we make that lever more effective, right? 
And to make the lever more effective, we either need to change the dimensions of the lever with a longer, uh, longer handle, right? The longer handle, it takes less force to hit it to produce the same force, right? Weight has to be dropped from a higher place. Sure, that's the other option. However, I can't go off the... Ah, holy shit! Yo, mom. No, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yo, mom. So, like, right now the lever is basically the same size on both sides. You guys can't see it because it's behind my camera. I didn't decide, I didn't build it very well either. Um, because the fulcrum is right in the middle. I can draw it from a little bit higher, but like... Draw a smaller weight. How will a smaller weight make it add more force though, right? Aren't we in agreement that the, that the, the, the problem is we need more force on the outside of the lever? More time to accelerate? Yeah, that was too far left. Smaller uh, so that it can drop from higher. Okay, okay. You need more speed, not more force. The cup is very light. Thin cup is very light. Okay, I'll do very small. Force equals nothing when the lever hits the weight and loses all its force. Doesn't it transfer its force, though? Isn't the fulcrum the point on which the force is transferred? Whatever force goes down becomes the force going up, plus the weird math of where the fulcrum is on the lever. Like, if the lever's over here, there's tons of force on this side. It's... uh. The force at the tip of this side of the lever is less because, uh, because of, of that. Now do it again. Smile. Don't smile. This is the same shit we did last time. What do you mean? This is the same thing. We'll do a second lever for sure. But the problem here is that it keeps slipping off this thing. Don't give me a smile here. If this works, I'm going to be mad. Yeah, we'll draw we'll draw something inside. I think this is the exact same thing we've done already. We might be getting slightly more accurate, but I don't know that that's even true. I need a new fulcrum. This is my new fulcrum. That didn't fucking work, son of a bitch. This is my new fulcrum. Oh, we're close. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, come on, you son of a... Sandcastle, right? We can sandcastle this, right? We're all thinking the same thing. Sandcastle? Sandcastle? We're all thinking it. There's only one solution, right? Sandcastle force right here? Big sand? Big sand. Thank fuck. Oh my god. We've been doing this for an hour and we have one solution. Thank Christ. Oh my god. Touch the red area with your drawing. You can't draw in the blue area. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. Easy. This is a ramp. Just a ramp situation. Get out of get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Easy. Make the ball touch the left wall. I hate this one already. Um. Hmm. Make the ball touch the left wall. We can do sandcastle to move it. We've done that before. What else do we have here? We could clamp this and make it turn to the right. Yeah. I feel like you can do the last one with one drawing? Probably. Problem is this is always going to have some space here. If we could tilt it... Problem is we're not going to be able to tilt it over a fulcrum that also isn't in the way. Unless, what if we move it left first? 
then build a fulcrum to the right of it. You know? I don't know why I drew the fulcrum in that shape. That's such a weird fucking shape. Then a little clamp. It doesn't touch the wall, hopefully. I fucked it. It touches the wall. God damn it. Uh, hmm. It is not currently Thursday. I'm sorry. We have to get rid of this. Uh, get rid of this music. Everybody's bopping in chat. If we fill up the entire right side with sand, right? And just make sure that it is the most leftmost sand piece. Getting rid of the Thursday music is a crime, but it's not Thursday. Oh, I won't even be here Thursday. You're right. Hmm. All right, we got to start experimenting here. What if I could get the ball to right here now? And then I could tilt it all back to the right. I don't think that would do shit. <laughs> Hmm. The ball became a fulcrum, though, so that's kind of cool. Okay, all right, all right. Idea. Move you all the way to the right. Oh, shit. Uh, move you all the way to the right, but we're going to do it once we... Oh, wait. We're going to draw a hammer. Everything is a nail if you look at it that way. As you go, we... Oh, no. All right, chat. Front, see me here. Build a working crane. Sweet. So we have the base of the crane here. We then have long arm, second long arm, down to hook. Hook is going to grab it and move it. I'm lost on this one. All right, so make the face shape right. No, we'll go 25. Wait, no, that's the one we just did. We'll go 26. Make the ball touch the left wall. Okay. Clamp. The bad clamp, but it worked. And we're chilling. Didn't we already do this? I mean, they're all sort of variations of the same one. Uh... Make Alex touch the right wall. That sucks. That's that's rude. The right wall? Hammer? Is the hammer going to go in a circle? If you figure this out, you get 22 for free. You're right. It's 22 with an added complication. Okay. Hmm. Start the hammer head up higher. You build more momentum as it swings for sure. Talking like this for the last one. I've trapped him against the left wall. Does that count? Uh, my honest thought here is like, if we can build a clamp here with some, my first thought, right? With this then it kind of acts as a lever. If we put weight right here. Hammer from the left side might just make the thing slide. Let me see if I can't like finagle a little, uh, a little something special here. I can't go too much further to the right because if I do, the, um, okay. Now Alex is a lightweight, so this could still work. Maybe. I don't know how though. Um, 
I can't grab him from the left on any way. On the right, this is going to seem crazy. Can I just get this shit out of the way? Will that work? Is that too far right? No, you fucker. <laughs> Cl I clamped my clamp and it didn't work. Marina says on this one, I'm thinking the ball is a roller. Yep. The tall shape needs a clamp curving down to tilt pivot. And roll over the ball. So I think on this one we we have to we have to tilt it both ways, right? So like you tilt it one way. We have the roller. Then we have to tilt it the other way, yeah? Which I just fucked up by doing this. Hmm. I don't know that I can currently clamp it. Do we start with a clamp that can be that can be moved both ways later, right? Like this? That's not gonna work. <laughs> Ball is a roller, tall shape needs a clamp curving down to tilt pivot. Curving down. That was the least straight line I've ever drawn. <clears throat> now there's an idea, Artifiz. Can you catch the rectangle with the dot from the inside so that it tips over it? Hi, man. How's it going? A misshapen D to the right to pull it and roll. Interesting. So you're saying, I like that idea. Interesting. I might have done that in the wrong order, but you're saying clamp. That becomes... A D, which it rolls over. The weight is mostly on the top right now. I'm going to add a little bit more just to make sure, hopefully. <gasps> Fuck. Life's good. How's yours? Doing pretty well today. Doing pretty well for, uh, today. Jeff says, Pluvio, I love how uh, dedicated you are to hammers. What if you get the ball next to the tower, use a hammer to knock the tower right onto the ball? Arena, I think that could work, by the way, uh, with better sizing from me. So I'm keeping that idea. I'm keeping that idea. This song is Honey Pie by uh, Johnny, J-A-W-N-Y. So you're talking hammer? I missed the hammer. No, oh, shit. It stayed on the bot side of the ball. If I hit that higher. Okay, okay. That could work, maybe. I think it's going to force it left, though, or force it. But if I hit it on the upper half, right? As long as I hit the thing on the upper half. I keep missing. Fuck. Jared, that's kind of my plan. The problem is I don't seem to find to be able to be able to find it. That was my original plan. It says, can you tip the block to the left, put the red ball under it, force the block to the right, and the red ball will the red ball will be basically here and roll out. I can't find a way to tip it one way than the other. Let me real quick. Let me try Arena's uh Arena's method again here. I put the D. Got to put the D by the way. Probably needs to be a little bit more round, but now I've added a bunch of weight too. And then we need more weight like right here. 
and I forgot to move the ball too. I forgot to move the ball. Go, 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 go. It's not gonna work because I didn't do it the right fucking shit. The clamp has the D, but also it needs weight. Like the first time I did it, it didn't have enough weight to actually tip over. So like it has to tip at least a little bit. But it has to tip so that it doesn't actually reach the wall. That's the other thing. I don't even know if we could do this if it would actually be caught by the wall first before it comes up. There's something really good about this one, though. Fuck, it still needs more weight. Hi to Fluff, how's it going? I think hammer method is genius. It's got to be the right size and position. We have to get the ball on the other side of it, though, right? This game currently is full on front seating, yes. You hit the ball with the hammer so the ball runs hard into the bottom of the triangle. Maybe. Do you trust me to aim and hit this, uh, hit this ball? Because I don't. Especially not if I build the hammer like that. Fuck me. Okay, so we got to start this thing off right. Get the ball as far left as possible. Lots of weight. We need the tip of this. No, that was kind of close. Hammer it from bottom right. I'm not sure we're going to be able to... I don't think that we're going to have enough force to get it underneath this thing. But, actually, we hammer it bottom right. Then I put a... a then I hold my thing right here. I hold here. Because then... The tower will not also move. The tower might open up left. You know? What if we hammer bottom right and combine it with holding the, the, uh, the thing in place? Can you hammer and hold? Shit. Gonna have to be quick. I've got the quickest fingers in the West. It's not true. I can't even fucking do the hammer correctly. Marina was thinking the D-curve would be the entire height. Maybe we can get this to clamp. Or to a uh, ball. Oh my god. Whoa! Okay, we have movement. That's for sure. We definitely have movement. That's big clamp energy. Ooh, interesting. If we can get the ball on the left side of that first, I did it in the wrong order. Big clamp energy here. Move, 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 you son of a bitch. Oh my god! The engineer in chat arena for the day? Wow. Wow. Take VIP. That was incredible. That was a work of art. That was a work of art. Damn. Holy shit. That was good. Both the brain to take care of it and the brain to communicate to me how to take care of it. Well done, Arena. All right, let's go back to 21. Can we solve these old ones? Wait, why won't it let me click on them? Uh-oh. You solve 7 out of 10 the next? Sure. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hi, k Boz. Lunch break time? Big D energy, by the way, from uh, from Marina today. Um, make the shape face right. Maybe the answer for everything is just a D. Chat, maybe the answer for everything is just a D. That's not going to work. <laughs> today is six months in the community for k -Boss? Yo, k -Boss. That's so special. 
Happy to have you here. How is that a D? It's kind of, it's got a curve on it, a misshapen D. Answer is just a D. What if the answer is actually this? Just so much energy right here. Did we try this yet? Wait a second, did we try this yet? Okay, I need to build this correctly though. Because if I put it too far left, it'll hit other things. Make the weight connect leftmost on the lever. Get the fulcrum above the shape so that the power will go more, the, the, the force will go more to the right. If the fulcrum's right here, the force goes up. If the fulcrum's here, it goes to the right. Fulcrum higher. Now this is gonna be way too high. <laughs> However, we can do a little curve there. Uh, I shouldn't have gone so high. That's going to be a problem. Okay. Thinking like this. When you drop weight on a level, make sure it's as far from the fulcrum as possible. Let your weights are falling too close to the pivot point. Yeah, the wall is the other problem though, right? I hear you. It's one of those things where, like, if the weight touches the wall and or the lever touches the wall, then the movement also stops. Okay, I need to plan that better. I need to have the fulcrum slightly more to the right. That's a good point, though. The point of the fulcrum a little bit more to the right so that there's plenty of weight of the lever off to the left already so that it'll sit in a balanced position. Beautiful. Wait as far left as possible and as high as possible. Oh, uh, halfway there. Halfway there. Jeff says I have to focus on an important task. I'll turn on hyper focus mode minus the procrastinating and get on with my stuff. You got this, Jab. You got this. Why do you make the fulcrum so wide? Um, Because I don't think I need it to move. Why not? I don't know. I don't want the fulcrum to, to move. Just hammer? I could make it less wide, but I don't know. Why, why would I make it less wide? Uh, okay. We got to be careful here. If we hammer here, the, the cup has the danger of hitting the hammer. If I hammer here, I hit the other thing first. You know? I think instead we maybe just try a simple lever because it's the least risky thing we can do. Okay, that didn't work perfectly. I think that is the less risky thing we can do. Also, let's just try a little bit of energy. Okay, didn't work. I agree with hammer. Hammers are fun. Okay, 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 okay. We can hammer. Which chest says hammer? I'll, I'll hammer. Uh, the fucking... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Back to the start. Back to the start. Slightly bigger there. Let's see here. Let's see here. Go farther left. So it has lots of weight. Apply force. Okay. My lever was a little big. Hmm. This one's kind of fucked, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for a crazy idea here. That didn't work. That was always going to get in the way. Draw a hammer, but in the shape of a hook. I'm trying to determine if I should go higher here or less high. 
I honestly want less lever on that side. Okay, okay, okay. That had a lot of force, right? That had a lot of force. Honestly, pretty close. Ryan, just a heads up in case you didn't see this yet. There are walls on either side of the screen, so stuff might hit them. Hey, thanks, Mars. Thank you, thank you. You could do with a larger distance between the top of the fulcrum and the ledge that you are flipping. More distance left to right or vertical? Would you say? Can you clamp it down on the right now? I'm a nervous to do anything to the right here because I don't know if the solution is it has to be completely flat. So anything over here might get in the way. I'm not sure. Make a small wrecking ball instead of a hammer. Maybe we needed a ball the entire time. Right here. Okay, okay, okay. Are you guys going to fucking fuck me on this again? Are you guys going to get me to do something again? Which is not going to work. No! Nah! All right, so Kriya says, larger distance between the top of the fulcrum and the ledge you're flipping. Left to right. I think that's, that's probably also a little bit higher, honestly. That's probably not as good. That's going to tilt the wrong way. It's not going to tilt the wrong way. Uh, let's see if this is a more effective lever. It's pretty good. Still about as effective. Are we just going to try hammering again? Everything's a nail. Except this time it's a wrecking ball. Smile. Hmm. Start the hammer wrecking ball higher up. Okay, 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 okay. I think this part is pretty solid. We, I can draw this in my sleep now. It was an easy flip, and unfortunately, I should have done a harder flip. What can we do to make this force higher? Kriya says the longer the distance between the pivot point, the greater the moment of force. Are you suggesting more like evenly spaced? So I thought I needed it to be more like leaning to the right. That's hit the wall, so that's not gonna work. No. Just just flip over. Make a small mound on the right, a small fulcrum here. If we hit it with enough force, you know what? Let's try that again. That's a good idea. If we hit it with enough force, let's do basically. The solution which has gotten us the most power is, I think, basically this, although I probably made that too big. And then, wait. I didn't draw that very well. Welcome to the stage where Ryan just redraws everything three times. That's tipping too early. Power! If it's shorter on the right, it has more torque but less speed. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you're correct, but when you say things like that, you make me uh, believe you. When you phrase it that way, whether or not you're correct, I tend to believe you. It sounds like expertise, and so I treat it like expertise. You know? Use technical terms? Yeah, if I can't understand you because the terms are too technical, I'm more likely to believe you in a weird way. <laughs> you know? That makes sense, right? That's perfectly natural. 
I don't think I can go much higher than like this, right? That I mean, even that's too high. What do we do here? What do I? What if we just make it a little bit lower? We'll do a tiny mound here. Tiny little mound. Oh, that's just a ball. Shit. <laughs> okay, and then as much speed as possible, hitting the out side left. Flipped it pretty hard. If I don't understand it, it must be correct. Exactly. <clears throat> what if you put a sphere to the right before the lever so that it rolls on top of it? Hmm, kind of like what we just tried there. Balls, by the way. Creo, can I get an exclamation watch time? Um, all right, you've all convinced me. You've all convinced me. I need space to grab. I need wrecking ball to hit. All right, Alex, UV Godzilla. Let's go. Let's go. I can't believe that worked. Wrecking ball was the answer. I came in like a wrecking ball. Now do all of that with Alex inside. Yeah, exactly. Right here. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's a great point. How do we do this shit with Alex inside of it? That's a terrible lever. I think we might be able to do this. How do we flip Alex out of here? Just a tiny little thing? And then wait? It's going to catch, right? Yeah, it's going to catch. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. I got him stuck inside of there. I think this one might be doable now. Let's build the fulcrum a little bit lower. Build this weight. So that it hits the exact outside. Hammer it. I'm worried Hammer will tip it, but not get Alex out. On this one, we might not need to have this thing touch the right-hand side, though. So maybe what we do is just a little bit of this. Tip? You son of a... Just tip. Just tip. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to move on to Hollow Knight here, like, in two minutes. But first, come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. Do a full D there, like, earlier. We could. Hear me out here. What if we flip Alex and not the cup? Flip Alex, but not the cup. Greater height for the weight to come from. Oh my god, that worked. You flip Alex and not the cup. I'm a genius. What can I say? I'm a physics genius. So here's what I've learned over the last hour of playing this game. Uh, it's really simple, actually. Mm, that's kind of a funny angle. Just just do one of these. Just do one of these. I'm a genius after chat fixed. Chat did no such thing. I, I fixed it. I fixed it. Um, okay, 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 okay. So here's what I've learned after of the last uh, hour of, of solving these things. As a physics genius, here's what I've learned. Everything needs a fulcrum and a lever. Okay, physics genius. Alex, no! Godzilla! 
No. Hear me out. Crazy idea. Fuck Godzilla. Maybe this will work. I didn't hit Godzilla. <laughs> okay, so hear me out. Hammer here. Alex is suspected because of the, the rectal thermometer. <laughs> uh, there goes the children's hospital. <laughs> Passionate moment between Godzilla and Alex here. My go-to lever is gone. If I put a lever here and wait it, Alex might go up, but there's so much random force happening here. I think we might need to restart this, but I kind of want to try something just in case, you know? Oh. Godzilla, how about you turn over? And not in a weird way, just, just like fall over. fall over is this kind of working there's no chance this will work right hmm um <laughs> Move Godzilla out of the way first. I've really struggled to come up with a uh, a good method of doing that. Because he rolls back the fucker. However, maybe what that means is we can do this and then put like a triangle underneath him. You know? Maybe the answer is we put something underneath Godzilla's right foot. That's the, I, I hit the children's hospital again. That wasn't what I planned on, but. The song is fucking with my brain. Was that sound inside of my headphones? I thought Megan was playing something weird. That explains it. I was like, what is Megan listening to? Bex, thank you so much for the prime sub. How you doing today? Thank you. A little into hearts in the chat if you guys got him to say thanks. Thanks, Bex. How are you? The song was the was the yelling. That's my bad, my bad. Okay. Um Artifice says big weight on the tail without dropping it. Big weight on the tail without dropping it. It's gonna have to be a pretty big weight, I think, unfortunately. Okay. Can we use Godzilla as a lever, you think? That wasn't the plan. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting somewhere. Antenna drop. Antenna drop. Do we want to fling? I think we do the the old the old style fling, right? I think we do the butt flap fling. Shape it like an enormous D. I got you. Okay, the, the lever below the butt is going to work. It's just that I need to shape it a little bit better. Lever beneath butt is going to work. Big weight. 
Not even a big weight, just drops the fall ways. Come on, Alex, please. Please. Let's go. <laughs> I just got so excited I started choking. We unlocked the next levels. Oh, let's go. Oh, baby, that's going to do it for your Q remastered. It's never getting to get any better than that. Alex went to heaven. Alex did go to heaven. We did it. Shout out to Alex. Oh, my God. Good floor. Thank you. I felt really proud of that at the last second. All right, we're going to play some Hollow Knight. That's going to do it for Q remastered today. Thanks.